It's actually spitting out poison as we speak. Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. I have the privilege of being able to rear one of South Florida's beauties, the Faithful Beauty, Composia Fidelissima. It's actually our uh, website and YouTube channel's mascot because it is one of the most stunning bugs around, especially down here in South Florida. Uh, I will show you some pictures. It's got some iridescent blue and red and white spots. It's just a fantastic day flying moth. Uh, but we are gonna show you that this bug isn't just pretty, but it's also got some crazy defense mechanisms. It actually spits poison from its head at something that would try to eat it. You're not gonna believe this, guys. Check this out. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications so that when we put out crazy videos like this on the butterflies and moths of South Florida, that you will get notified. So guys, let's see all about the faithful beauty and how it defends itself. Check this out. Spitting, spitting. Is that his? So, folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit about this south florida beauty the faithful beauty uh they, i'm raising them in captivity and oh, this cage is going to blow over uh but they actually do very well in captivity uh, males and females will uh copulate very comfortably in a little tiny flight cage like this and i've got some um i've got some sweet almond uh in there for nectar for them and i'm gonna now that they've copulated i'm gonna get some uh, host plant in there which is devil's claw or echites umbilata it's a poisonous plant that lives down here in the hammocks and uh pine barrens of south florida the rock pinelands of south florida in the florida keys and uh the plant the plant is actually in the same general uh family as oleander which is a poisonous plant so guys here's the deal this bug is showy and it's showy for a purpose most things that have bright flashy colors we all know that in nature uh, it's probably because they've got some kind of ridiculous uh, defense mechanism or they're very toxic so they're, they're kind of warning birds and lizards or whatever else might eat them hey don't eat me i'm poisonous and uh, the faithful beauty is no different it's got these iridescent blue colors uh, white white spots very very showy very very um, impressive in how colorful it is it's not trying to hide the caterpillar is no different caterpillar is bright pink ca caterpillar with purple spots on it it's almost like a neon kind of glow to it uh, they do not hide at all so they're very proud of their poisonous nature so as the caterpillar eats it takes some of the toxins from the echites plant or the devil's claw and it stores it and so now if a bird were to eat the caterpillar i'm sure it wouldn't taste good and i'm sure the bird would get sick and die or, or even die who knows uh, how toxic it actually is but the adult moth is what i want to actually be the focus of the rest of our video today because it does something that i don't i've never seen another moth do it actually spits out poison from its head so uh, guys i want to show you what this looks like check this out Okay, so guys, what I have here is a freshly emerged male uh, Composia fidelissima, Faithful Beauty, and it's in a little cup here, and there's just some empty pupa shells down there on bottom. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is, I am going to kind of go in this cup and with a pair of tweezers. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine if this pair of tweezers were the bill or the beak of a bird. And I want, you, I want to show you what happens when I pick up this moth with a pair of tweezers. Check this out. What I do is open up the cup without the thing flying away, which is not necessarily easy. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time. We'll see how this actually works here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna get the tweezers inside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick up the moth by its wing. Now, check this out guys. So you can see the beautiful colors on the moth and it's not spitting out. It's not doing, it's not doing what I thought it was going to do. Uh, so, oh, wait a minute, there it goes. Let's see. Guys, here it is, look. Check this out. This foam just started spewing out from the body here. Look at this. I don't know where, it, where did it come from? It's actually coming out of the wing, look. Guys, check this out. I'm holding this moth right now with a pair of tweezers and literally the moth is pumping this toxin out from its wings. There must be some kind of a gland down here. But look at the toxin, guys, as it's pumping it out. And, I'll, and I can even kind of dab it up with a uh, paper towel here. It, it's starting to pump it out of its head as well now. So look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? that this moth actually spits out poison from its head. That is something that is un... I've never seen anything like this in the insect world, guys. Uh, a moth that spits out poison from its head and from its wings. Um, I, I've not tasted this yellow stuff, and I probably would not advise anybody doing so, but I can tell you right now, first of all, it's staining my fingers, and I can tell you right now that it smells. It smells very, very... Uh, pungent and so I can imagine what it would taste like if you were to actually get it in your mouth so that's what happens guys if a bird picks this moth up uh, ex that's exactly what happens so um, I'm actually gonna let this guy go now because he's been a good sport I'm gonna try and show you guys another one. This guy has actually been in this rearing cage for a good day or two. So let's see what happens when I pick this guy up. Let's see if this guy behaves any better. There it goes. Look at it guys, look at it. Look at this thing spitting stuff out of its head. Guys, look at this. Look at the stuff coming right out of his head, guys. I'm not making this up. This guy's spitting poison out of his head as we speak. Can you believe that? Sorry for the dogs barking in the background. That's not, it was not my plan. There it is, look. Sometimes he just needs a little bit of a nudge, but literally spitting stuff out of his head, guys. Not only does he have the blue, the red, the white, colors that warn very clearly uh, any predator that this is a poisonous moth but it actually spits poison out from its head so guys I hope you enjoy this video um, I hope this guy doesn't get I hope this guy doesn't poison himself because lo look at all the poison that's on this piece of plant here and it just keeps coming out I mean literally he's just frothing it out it's like a froth a very sticky staining yellow froth guys it just keeps coming out of his head so i'm gonna put this guy back in his cage with his girlfriends because you've been a good sport and you've showed me everything that i've wanted you to sh show me now get comfortable <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video on the Faithful Beauty's defense mechanisms. Uh, isn't it crazy? A moth that spits poison out of its head and its wings. I I've actually never seen one spit it out of its wings before. That was actually a first. Uh, I do get my hands dirty every time I touch these guys because they spit it out of their heads and they stain my fingers. But uh, so guys, we have some fantastic video coming out soon of the life cycle of this moth um, from egg all the way up through the, uh, the adults and the mating process and the, the habitat, all that, how to find them, how to breed them. And uh, it's a great video. I'm very happy with the content that we're generating now. And guys, if you learned something, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because 
We've got tons more videos coming your way. Uh, Faithful Beauties, these guys, these girls better start laying some eggs. Um, the guys put on the Marvin Gaye, put a few candle lights on, and uh, they got right to it. But um, we do need some, we need some eggs now to continue the project. So guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to check out more of the moths of South Florida, I've got a website. It's keysmoths.com. We've got almost 600 species of moths categorized there and photographed so that you can check them out. Plus an entire page on the Faithful Beauty and you can see a lot of the photography that we've done there. Uh, also 100 butterfly species from the Florida Keys. Guys, 700 butterflies and moths in this little tiny chain of islands in the Florida Keys. So guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and uh, trying to get yellow uh, poison from moths on your fingers. Take care.